Hi guys and welcome to Bobsy Bounce. I am Bobs. I am Bouncer. And today we are going to be reviewing Fast and Furious 9. So you're probably thinking, why have we got Indian music on that intro? Well, that's because this is not an actual Hollywood movie. It's a Bollywood movie. Spoiler alert guys, this is going to be a spoiler filled review. We're going to tell you the ins and outs of this movie. Spoiler? The whole movie was a spoiler. So the movie starts, you've got Vin Diesel in a farm with his bird or wife. Wife? Uh, no, they are married. Oh, they're yeah, married. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're okay, married. Okay, they're yeah. married. Uh, they've got their child as well and they're in the farm. All of a sudden, the gang turns up and Kurt Russell has been kidnapped and is held host hostage or something like that. Mayday! Mayday! Our plane is under attack by a rogue agent! So in this hijack video, he's basically saying that, oh, listen, you need to come and get me, I need help, and there's some kind of a device which is going to blow up the world, or is a big beam's going to come out of the sky and it's going to change everything. I don't know what the concept of these movies is anymore, to be honest. Could be a Hadouken. Hadouken! Anyway, at first, Vin Diesel said, no, no, no. Yeah. But then eventually he goes, you know what, okay, guys, I'll come with you. Yeah. The reason why he's going to the mission is because he's seen an image and the cross pendant that he has on his neck all the time. You see that in the picture. And all the see, that's very it. clever writing because they're gonna that, that cross is gonna come back into the movie somehow. Yeah. What happened to the child? Like, who's taking care of him? Like, what's going on? So exactly. So basically, <laughs> so, so basically, this is what responsible parents do. Okay. So when you become a responsible parent, you just, right, you basically abandon your kid and you go on this mission, this death-defying mission across the world uh, to go save the world. On top of that. <laughs> <laughs> they go to an army base and they got all jet fueled, ready, and all the ammunition in the world ready to go on this mission. Where did they, where did they get the funding from? I don't know. <laughs> whoever's, whoever's, whoever's funding these guys. So, so as well, but for our YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> now, for the next, I will say probably about a good hour of the movie now, you're going to see action scenes. And in these action scenes, these guys have broken every law in physics that is possible. For example, you've got people riding bikes and you got people driving the cars going over minefields guess what the the mines are blown up for the bad guys but for the good guys they're not getting a scratch on them some people are driving on the bridge that is collapsing and somehow they manage to get over the the, the, the bridge and in all of this commotion you got mr vin diesel who on that bridge which has already been collapsed drives off somehow gets a hook attached onto the under beneath of his car the car does a hook, turns around, spin a rooney, the car does about 10 different somersaults, and then it lands, bang, and then the response is... Well, that was new. Yeah, this scene then ends with John Cena uh, picking up this uh, half of this round thing, this whatever this yeah, thing is. Yeah. What's it called? Everyone else finds out that John Cena is Vin Diesel's brother. Uh, honestly, like, we have to talk about the space part. So basically... Oh, yeah. It, look where the movie started. So the movies part one and two, they started with cars, kitted up, you got your skylines, you got this and that. They're doing drag races, wicked. We're at a point now in the Fast and Furious franchise where they're attaching rockets to cars and basically going into space, blowing up satellites and coming back on Earth without a scratch. And then in the end, you got uh, Vin Diesel, he gets his magnetic device and he puts it inside his car and he turns his magnet on. But guess what? Only the things that Vin Diesel wants to attach to the magnet, only they attach, right? So only the cars he wants to attach to, to those to his car, they're going to they're gonna get attached. Anything else, like, you know, you've got your, your ring, you've got your zip, you've got your change in your pocket. Nothing else is going to get attached. Only the cars that Vin Diesel wants to get attached are the ones that are going to get attached. Speaking about Han, right? Han returns. Somehow he returns from Tokyo Drift. So if you guys want to know who Hans is, if you guys haven't seen the movies, you obviously probably have seen him. He's a Japanese guy who's doing drifts with his uh, Mazda yeah, car, right? right? Seven. Did, so what actually happened to him in the movie, in, in, in the Tokyo Drift? So basically he just got burnt, right? He had an accident and basically... Jason Statham did Jason, that. Yeah, Jason Statham, he did that and... Um, yeah, apparently he's still alive. He was working for the CIA yeah, all the that. time. So the guy was a secret agent, yeah. right? Because he makes the right wicked entry. Basically, he's, he's doing like a... Is it always about to die? Is it letting us about to die? I think so, yeah. And then he just basically gets like a sniper. Boom! boom. Shoots somebody. There you go. Oh, yes, Hans is still alive. Yeah. Anyway, in the end of the movie, towards the end, you know, when all this stuff's going on, you've got a big uh, truck that they're in that uh, does a big flip. <laughs> but this has gone past Bollywood now. This is Bollywood, Tollywood, Lollywood. Every wood, right? Every all the woods in the world. This is the com combination. Is this? You got this big, massive 
truck that becomes the Burj Khalifa for a bit and then it just kind of <laughs> falls. So then on that scene, John Cena and Vin Diesel become friends again. Yeah, oh, we didn't expect that uh, one, did we? Oh, oh my god, yeah. Spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> it's a bit of a shame to see, you know, where the characters started from. So some of the characters where they were in the first two, three parts of the movies and now what they become. For example, you've got Ludacris, his character who used to be a mechanic and basically a pimp, yeah. right? And he went from that character and now he's all of a sudden a next level computer hacker. You've got Tyrese's character as well, who in part two is basically gangster, thugged out, just got out of prison, you know, stealing everything. And this guy is all of a sudden now the funny guy. He's the funny man. You, 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 you're the funny guy. You're the funny face. You're the funny face, man. The kid from Tokyo Drift who was drifting cars in Tokyo, he is a rocket scientist in this movie, right? <laughs> he's, he's a rocket scientist, like, also, Bow Wow as well, he's, well, he's, he's got, he's got must, you know, rocket scientist. i tell you what though, Bow Wow age has not done the guy well, man. The guy, oh, he's, he's, yeah, the last time he was in a movie was probably in Tokyo Drift, but come on, man, try to take care of yourself a bit better, bro. Bit of advice for you, man. But anyway, even he's a rocket scientist as well. And guys, there's going to be a part 10. 100%. This movie shouldn't be called Fast and Furious, it should be called Tez or Gusa. Tez or Gusa, yeah. Because the Bollywood movies, we're going to call it Tez or Gusa. If you don't know what that means, um, it just means Fast and Furious, basically, but in Urdu or Hindi. Mm -hmm. You're saying there are actually some good bits? Yeah, there the are some good bits, like you know, emotional bits, like uh, you know how Vin Diesel... Uh, should I spoil it for him? We've spoiled the whole movie? Well, <laughs> what is there's a part where Vin Diesel's father, he passes away in a car accident, and uh, it's quite emotional. That's uh, one of the emotional scenes. And uh, the end bit where Paul Walker's GTR drives into the driveway, so... Uh, yeah, that's I think one of the best scenes uh, in the actual movie. Basically, in this movie, two parts made me cry. The first part is when uh, Vin Diesel's dad died. And the second part is when Vin Diesel said, Family. Just to sum it up, I don't think you, should, you guys should waste your time watching this movie. If you do want to watch it, don't watch it in cinemas. Uh, I think it's more entertaining to go to Bradford Interchange and watch your homeless guy puking up. <laughs> <laughs> or you can watch our previous video where we are puking up. Like guys, guys, I can't, I can't I'm going for it, I'm going for it. <laughs> That's all for today guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time guys. This is Bobsy Bounce signing out. Hey.